and uh, welcome to your uh, 19th C Sharp XNA tutorial. Uh, so in this tutorial, as I stated, we're going to be learning on how to align our menus. Okay, so uh, with our right here in our menus.cme, we can specify the location of our menus, right? And we specify the location, and that's fine, right? That's cool, right? But say you want it that your program does the aligning for you, right? So you don't have to go, like, what if you want it to be perfectly centered? You're not going to want to do all the calculations yourself. You want the program to do that for you. And I know that you guys might be saying, okay, let's get into the actual game stuff. We don't care about it. But some people do. And if you want more flexibility, this is just another concept that you got to learn. So if you're not interested in this, I guess you could skip it. But it's a, it's a cool thing to learn. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our uh, menu manager class and we're going to add in a string and we're going to name this align. So in our load content method, we're going to say case align and we'll say align is equal to contents. Okay, so we got our align set up. Sorry. So we want to set it. So, okay, so we can have different align properties. You can say it if you want it to be left aligned, left center, right center, top center, whatever, right? You can have different ones. This one, I'm just going to be setting it to either center or a, a different position, okay? Uh, so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to, uh, we're going to get rid of the position right here and uh, let's go to our menu manager and okay so we got our position set to vector zero just in case okay from before right so set to vector zero and it's fine so what we're gonna do is we got to open our private methods okay uh, so this requires uh, let's see where we can put this Okay, so right here, what we did is that, uh, well, one thing that we got to modify is before, remember how we never, how we said that we said plus menu images or whatever, but we never had a null image or something. Okay, what we need to do now is we'll do that quickly. Uh, so what we want to do is open up paint or something, any, any like drawing program or something. <coughs> uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long to open. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a null image, um, an image that uh, plays no significance or something, but just to take up space. Okay, so what we're going to do is, uh, I guess, okay, so I'm going to make this bigger. Sorry, I got my tools. So I'm just going to make this transparent. And we're going to change the canvas size or the whole size of the image to one by one. So you won't be able to see it. And we're going to save this uh, in our project folder. So C sharp projects. No, this isn't even the project I'm using. Uh, Uh, I know it's a lot of uh, folders. Okay, so let's say, let's call this null. So it's a null image. Uh, so let's go back to our program. Uh, so what we want to do is if you want to, if you want to load a null image in uh, the menu manager, then you can, or you can load in the screen manager or, or whatever. It's up to you, whichever one you want to load. But uh, so what we we'll, yeah, what we'll do is because we might need the null image for other places within our code. So let us go right here to our variables. And we'll say null image. Just put it in here just in case we need it for other things. And in our load content, we'll just say null image equal to content dot load texture 2d null 
okay and we need to make a property to it uh, public texture 2d null image get return null image Okay, so we got our uh, we got our null image set. So now we can say that we can add dot instance dot null image. Okay, so we can so in our set menu items we can add that there, and uh, for our dimensions we can say plus um, menu images i dot width, and for here we could just say plus menu images i dot height okay so what we did before is that we said that um, from our current position we added in based on our um the, our height our dimensions height and our and our width right uh but f based uh basically for this what we're gonna do now is based on our alignment we have to set the default uh, starting position of our of our first menu item and then from that we will decrease it so uh, what I mean by that is this so what we got to do is uh, based on oh, sorry so we got to check our alignment first so I guess we'll do it right here okay so we'll say that if a line dot contains center so if it contains the word center uh then we got to do something and then we'll say else okay so if a line contains center then this is what we're going to do so we're going to have to scroll through the menu items uh menu items dot count and let's see so we'll put we'll move our our dimensions up here okay so we'll say that uh, if menu items is equal to center then if axis is equal to one then we'll say or actually we'll just say dimensions is equal to uh, menu items no oh sorry oh man i like i have a headache i'm like getting confused okay so it's plus equals menu items dots uh menu items i no fo sorry font dot measure string menu items i uh plus dot x plus menu images i dot width and then dimensions dot y plus equals font dot measure string menu items i dot y plus menu images i dot height okay so this should give us the total height or the total width of um the images that were we're loading in so depending on our axis we're going to um, distinguish certain information so we're going to say that if the axis is equal to since our axis is equal to two for now we'll calculate that first and we'll rearrange the calculations for axis equals to one after so we'll say if axis equals to two uh, then we'll say that the starting position so pos and right now Right here, we'll just say POS. So we'll say POS is equal to screen manager dot instance dot dimensions dot dot Y subtract dimensions dot Y divided by two. So that will give us a starting present, uh, give us a starting center uh, position uh, for what for what we will need and it should be position dot Y. So that will give us uh, the starting position uh, for our y coordinate, and we could do, uh, I guess, 
So we'll do this for axis is equal to one as well. So position dot x is equal to screen manager dot instance dot dimensions dot x minus dimensions dot x divided by two. Okay, so we got our so we got our starting positions for our player, and let me just check my time. Okay, so we got our starting positions for our not our player for our menu items. And uh, I think I'll end it there and then we'll finish off the alignment of the menu items in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't confuse you guys because I, I kind of got a little confused at, at the moment. But I hope you guys are grasping what I'm saying and I'll explain it more in depth um, in the next tutorial what's exactly going on here. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and bye.